Hi guys, so today I'm doing a big grocery haul. So I've been to Costco, so I thought I'd show you what I got. So I got some eggs, because we're going to have sausages and eggs and bacon for dinner um, in a few nights. And I also wanted to make some zucchini slices, which you need eggs for. They're also on sale at Costco for $7.50 if anyone wants to know. Um, and then I got two packs of Doritos to make nachos because we've got heaps of salsa and stuff. Um, hand soap because we need it to wash our hands. Bacon for the, um, what's it called? Bacon and eggs and stuff and to make zucchini slice. Then I topped up some bread and got some wedges because they're good to have on hand. And same with potato gyms. I've got dish tabs, um, so we can wash our dishes, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, carrots, I'm going to make some coleslaw up, so I'm going to use that, and then I'm going to bake some tonight with a roast. Zucchinis to make a zucchini slice, cucumbers for some salad later on in the week, and then these, because we're having um, burrito wraps, and then we're having nachos, so that is for that. And oh, and then I've got Mountain Dew and another four milks. Okay, so I've just done an Aldi shop, so I'll show you what I got. So I've got meat pies for dinner one night, some um, frozen veggies, pull-ups for the little kids to wear to bed, strawberries, some pasta, a bunch of corn, um, tomato soup for dinner one night, beetroot, coleslaw, um, like mayonnaise to make coleslaw. Um, they didn't have the green cabbage so I'll have to buy that at Woolies and then I've got some baked beans, diced tomatoes, um, tuna, celery to make um, potato salad, nappies, potatoes to make potato salad, uh, butter, cheese, a whole bunch of yogurt, lasagna and some pizzas for dinners. Okay so I've just finished Woolies um, and I'll show you what I got. So I found um, a whole heap of reduced garlic bread, so I got four lots of that and I'll just freeze it because it's good to have as an extra. Sweet potatoes I got for um, lamb roast tonight. So this is the cheese that I can have because I'm lactose intolerant. Um, and then I got this to make potato bake, some apples, bananas, cordial, wipes, tomatoes, and um, cabbage to go with, with the coleslaw. Then I got these for dinner tonight because they were also reduced. And then I got um, four packets of tortillas for burrito wraps, toilet paper, um, eight kilos of potatoes, oats, wheat bix, wheaties, and two boxes of cornflakes. Okay, so I um, mean Eric have had lunch and I'm not so grumpy anymore. So I thought I'd give you all the totals for all the shops. So Costco came up to $151.70. So majority, $50 of that was dish tabs and um, the soap and something else. So that's pretty good. Um, Aldi, and I feel like when you go to Costco, it always costs you no less than $100 because anything you buy is $20, $25. So um, Aldi was $143.34, which is pretty good. I got heaps of canned items in there. Um, and then I got a few freezer meals and stuff like that. Well, not meals, but um, easy meals in the freezer. Uh, Woolies was $128.91 which is a lot more than I wanted to spend but I got a few things in there that um, were cheap. So I got them two. So in total for um, the rest of the month which is three weeks uh, is $423.95 so I think that's pretty good. Now I will need um, to go get milk and um, more fruit, but the kids go back. Well, the kids go back to school the last couple of days in January, and I might do a back to school haul just from Costco later on in the month. I'm not sure about that though. Let's see, I did it last year, I think. No, I didn't. I don't know. We'll figure that out later. <laughs> So, um, I don't know a lot of you are going to ask or question how we make it work 
for the whole month. So, um, I think I've mentioned this, but my parents sold their farm recently and they had to get rid of a whole bunch of lambs and stuff. So, um, we've got all the meat from there. So, our two freezers. So, this one was full, but it's pretty, it's pretty much just got bread in it now. And that last bit of lamb there. But this one over here is all full of lamb roast. So they were both full at the time. So we haven't been spending much on meat um, because a lot of it was mince and stuff like that. So we've used it pretty well. Um, so we've just got the lamb roast and lamb shanks. So I've never cooked with lamb shanks. Actually, I think I have when we only had a couple of kids, but never cooked with lamb shanks with all of them. So I'm trying to figure out how to do it. But um, yeah, so, and then I have, so this is our freezer since I'm in here. So this is pretty full too. So these are from today, them. We already had the spring rolls. Um, we already had these, which I'm actually gonna make a chicken soup for me and Eric for lunch. Um, and then these are two minutes that I got reduced at Aldi. We had an Aldi open up near us and I'm finding that they had a whole heap of reduced meat. Um, then these are chicken sticks and chicken schnitzels and stuff. And then we got some um, roast chickens I got reduced. And we got burgers there. Actually, I don't think that's a full packet though because we used one and a half packets for a meal. And then we got all of our garlic bread that we just got. And these are those beans that I froze like six months ago, but they're gone a bit funny. So I think I might get rid of them. And then this is more lamb down here and chicken nuggets. So the meals we're gonna have over the next couple of weeks. So I've only really done the next five or six nights, but um, I have in my head what I'll have for the time for the whole three weeks, but I just figure it out the night before which one I'll have. So I don't actually have a set meal for each night, like I move it around and stuff like that. I just have what I've got in the freezer type thing and the stuff that I've got to go with it. So tonight we're having lamb roast with the rolls that I got reduced, the oven rolls. Um, the next two nights I have a big batch of mince, so I'm going to make a big lot of burrito um, type of mince um, to go into wraps. So that should last two nights. If not, I've still got lamb mince, but I've only got like 500 grams or a kilo left. So I'll just cook that up on the second night if it's not quite enough. Because um, I do find with wraps and stuff, we use a little bit more mince than we do with um, spaghetti and stuff. I don't know why, but anyway, and I've started to bulk up spaghetti, I can talk, spaghetti bolognese sauce with um, veggies and stuff. Kids haven't even noticed. So I've been doing that for the last, I've been adding a little bit more and more and seeing how far I can take it, but um, they haven't even noticed. So, nor has Eric. I don't think they even watch me cook. But, um, so we've got that, and then we've got sausages, eggs, and baked beans. Um, we usually have canned tomatoes, like whole ones, but I can't find them anywhere around here. Aldi used to have them. Costco's never had them. I don't think they've got the diced ones. And I couldn't find them in Woolies. Maybe everyone's brought them because I can't find them like I can. So anyway, and a lot of people are buying food to donate, which canned tomatoes is a pretty cool one, so, or one that would be used. So I don't know, maybe people have just brought them. But yeah, I can't find whole tomatoes, which we would usually have with that type of meal. So then we've got lamb chops, which are in there. Um, that little freezer. Um, and we'll either have, I think we'll have a potato bag with that. Um, one of the kids requested it. I don't make them too often. I find I use almost three kilos of potatoes to make it. And it just feels like it's really expensive at the moment with potatoes being so expensive so today it wasn't too bad the bags were only six dollars for four kilos but um it still adds up um then we have the pizzas we've got chicken schnitzel which we usually just have with coleslaw and salad um then we've got heaps of sausages in there because i got them reduced to six dollars i brought like 12 packets of them um and i think we've only used four of them maybe 
Um, and then we'll just, we have, um, so we've already had spoon double batch of spaghetti, so I won't do that again. Um, and then we'll have um, tomato soup and I'll buy fresh rolls. Actually, I might use up the garlic bread that um, I got reduced today with that. So that's a really cheap one. So it's 70 cents a can. So we use eight cans. Because I don't know whether the ones at Aldi are a little bit smaller or whatever. But we use eight cans worth. And then, so that's still only like, I don't know, six, seven dollars for the um, tomato soup. And then... $2.80 for the um, garlic bread so it's a pretty cheap meal so um, we'll do that and then we have lasagna in there um, and then yeah I have no idea what else I've got on my list because I left it out in the other room but that gives you an idea of what we're um, having over the next few weeks they so Eric goes back to work in a week yesterday so six days maybe um so next weekend he goes back to work so we'll get sort of back into routine and the following week all the kids go back to school so and this year is going to be interesting because we have um two of them as we've said at one private school and seven of them seven of them at another and i've got the two girls at home so yeah so it's gonna be interesting and the two schools are about they're actually 40 minutes apart but in school traffic i'm guessing i checked before term ended um it was going to be about an hour in between so still haven't quite figured out how we're going to manage it but um we'll figure it out so that is it for today guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the ideas and um yeah so that is it for today guys like subscribe and comment below bye